God, amen. More things are wrought by prayer than this world can ever imagine. And we are praying for and remembering all of those refugees who have fled the country in Ukraine, asking and petitioning God to help them in their time of need. At this time, our voices of Pentecost will come with the prayer song. And the First Lady, Mother Joan D. Keith, would take us to the throne of grace in prayer. give you glory, Lord, and we give you thanks. We praise you for your goodness, and we thank you for your mercy, Lord. We thank you for your hand of protection. You. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for how you've kept us in our right mind. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With so much that is going on, Lord. Hallelujah. So many, oh God, are falling by the wayside, Lord. Mm -hmm. So many are giving up hope, Lord. Hallelujah. So many can't see their way out, Lord. But we Bless. know that you are the way. Yes, oh, Lord. Oh, oh, God, and there is nothing that you cannot do, Lord. All oh, things are possible with you, Lord. Yes, Lord if yes. we would only put our trust in you. Yes. Yes, Hallelujah. Lean on your yes. word and know that your word is unfailing. Hallelujah, yes. God. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. We pray, O oh God, for those that are behind the prison walls today, Lord. Mm -hmm. We're praying for those that are in the hospitals, yes. O oh God. Yes, Lord. Those, yes. Lord, that are in the nursing homes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Those that are walking up and down the streets and have nowhere to go. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord, stretch out your merciful hands, yes. Lord. Your hand of compassion, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we're praying for Ukraine, Lord. We're praying, Lord. Hallelujah. We trust in you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, our hearts bleed, God, as we see what they're going through, Lord. Oh, Father, but you're still sending, oh, God. You're still sending out your word, Lord. Hallelujah. You're still mindful, oh, God. Hallelujah. And for that, we want to tell you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, thank God, look upon those that are 
here under the sound of our voice, yes, Lord, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. That need a miracle, Lord, not tomorrow, yes. but right some need now. a miracle right now, right God. Now. Hallelujah. Right In the name of Jesus, yes. Hallelujah. Remember the drug addicts, oh God. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Remember Lord. the yes. alcoholics, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Remember the prostitutes, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Yes. In the name yes. of Jesus, yes. Lord. Yes. Send help, Lord. Send deliverance, yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh God, put your loving arms around them, Lord. Mm. Let them know that you care, God. Yes, Lord. And that you love them with an everlasting mm. love, Lord. Send your word, send your word yes. on today, yes. Lord. Yes. Strengthen your people, Lord. Remember our families that are represented, everyone that is under the sound yes, of our Lord. voice. Yes. We're praying for them, Lord. We're yes. waiting for their deliverance, yes. God. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, God, we're trusting you, Lord. Save them, Lord. Save them, Lord. Save them, God. Save them, Lord. Save them, Lord. Don't let them be lost, Lord. Hallelujah. God. Yes. Don't let them be lost, God. Don't let them be lost, God. Don't let them be lost, Jesus. Don't let them be lost, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, if you don't do it, Lord, they won't hear our voice, God. But they will hear you, Lord. They will hear you, God. Hallelujah. They'll hear you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, do it, Lord. Hallelujah. As we wait on you, as we trust you, send a mighty word, yes, Lord. Yes. Strengthen your servant. Use yes. him in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. to send the word that will set the captive free, Lord. Encourage and strengthen yes, your people yes. right now. Healing power, God, we mm-hmm. praise you for it right yes, now. Lord. And we give you glory and we clap our yes. hands. Yes. 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 Thank God and Lord. we tell you, thank you, Lord. We praise you, God. For it is already
we pray. Praise the Lord, everyone. Bless the Lord for his goodness, for his mercy, for all of his bountiful blessings. Thank God to be here. Amen. Yes, Brianna, I love you too. I love our young people. Amen. Amen. Every voice I hear is a blessing to me. Praise God. My nephew was in town um, a couple of weeks ago. Amen. And he reminded me and uh, my lady confirmed that he was one, I guess, that I started picking up and throwing in the air. <laughs> so all of my young people are suffering because of my relationship with my <laughs> nephew. <laughs> Praise God. Habits are easy to pick up. Yeah. Amen. And hard Amen. to break. Praise God. But I'm mag- I am Glorify God that have a man the privilege to develop some good habits. Praise God. One of them is to bless the Lord in spite of what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Praise God. And you don't know it is such a blessing. Amen. To even when you get upset, bless God. <laughs> Amen. And you can do that until all your frustrations are worked out. Uh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Praise God. I magnify. I, I bless God. I, uh, uh, somebody said, I think it was David. I would have fainted, except I believe to see the goodness of the Lord right here in the land of the living. Praise God. And it is a testimony, a testament to praise that it can get you through. <laughs> Glory to God, no matter what you're dealing with. Praise God. And I just magnify, I glorify, and I give God the praise. I want to talk with you for a little while today. Amen. And I don't mean this in any way as a negative to the Lord. But I want to talk from the subject. What is Jesus doing? <laughs> Praise God. Amen. I don't, I don't believe I'm the only one that ever thinks it. Praise God. Um, just some of us are crazy enough to say it. And others are not. But what is Jesus doing? In um, in the gospel according to St. John, the 13th chapter, and starting at the first verse, the Bible reads, Now, before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own, which were in the world. He loved them until the end. And the supper being ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, 
Simon's son to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things unto his hands and that he was come from God and went to God. He raised from supper, laid aside his garments, took a towel, and girded himself. Lord, help us. Then, after that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wet with he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter. And Peter saith unto him, Lord, doest thou wash my feet? And Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now. But thou shalt know hereafter. <laughs> Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. <laughs> and Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. What is Jesus doing? And it is easy for me to say it about this instance that is recorded in Scripture. <laughs> but that's not why I'm giving this text. I'm giving it because I don't always understand what he's doing right now. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. You can start out in the morning on fire and be freezing at night. Or you can start out freezing in the morning and burning at night. You can start out being nice and sweet and happy to everybody. And before evening gets here, daring folk to even talk to you. I know y'all don't deal with stuff like that. Praise God. But, hey amen, sometimes I just have to wonder. What is Jesus doing? And folk tend to look at us and judge us based on what we interpret Jesus told us to do. How to act as his children and as his people. Even though folk don't seem to be acting like his people <laughs> and like his children. But he still is looking for us to be like him. Praise God too. Tie a towel around ourselves and humble ourselves at people's feet. And because they don't understand it, they get indignant. You ain't going to never wash my feet. And 
as though washing your feet was a blessing or even a joy. <laughs> Praise God. But we are charged to humble ourselves. Praise God. To be like Jesus. Praise God. And the Lord told Peter, Said, you, you, you know, I, I'm not mad at you. He didn't say that. I'm interpreting. <laughs> Praise God. But you don't understand what I'm doing now. But you will, you know, down the road. But instead of Peter accepting that from the Lord, he confronts the Lord. You, you'll never Wash my feet. So the Lord had to tell him, if, if I can't wash your feet, you, you don't have no part with me. Praise God. So we have to decide how much of a part we want with the Lord. Praise God. And if we really want a part with him, we have to choose those things that we don't like as much as we choose the things that we do like. And we seem to have some definite ideas of what we like. Praise God. We like that he's a way maker. Praise God. And so we tell him every day, make a way. <laughs> Praise God. I got this situation. I haven't even got there yet, but make a way. Praise God. We don't know how the folk are going to deal, but we are already asking him. We like that. Praise God. When we think we feel a little sick, we say, Lord, heal my body. We like that. Praise God. When we need a little financial help. Not that y'all will ever get in that situation, but praise God. If and when we say, Lord, I need you, praise God, <laughs> do it. And we even tell him, do it for me right now. <laughs> Lord, help us. I'm sorry. <laughs> Praise God. We love that about our God. But the uh, hold your peace, let me fight your battle. <laughs> Am I preaching yet? Lord, help us. Praise God. Lord. You're taking too long. Let me do this this time. You can work on the. <laughs> oh, God. They're just parts of serving the Lord we don't like. And I think it's because, just like Peter, we don't understand. And I think the reason we don't understand is because we are still self-willed. We still have our own plan. Praise God. And in some instances, it supersedes God's plan. Praise God. Although we are not omnipotent so we don't know everything <laughs> praise God we still believe what we do know is so important that God has to flow with it rather than us 
having to wait on and flow with him. Praise God. Uh, old folk used to say something like, his no is just as sweet as his yes. In other words, whatever he says, praise God, should be a joy to us. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Praise God. Lord, I need a financial blessing. No. Not right now. We ought to say, thank you. My mic ain't working. Praise God. Amen. His no is just as sweet. Now, we don't understand. Praise God. But we ought to be able to not only accept it, but rejoice in it. Praise God. Amen. The, the, the Bible says that the Passover and the dinner for the Passover had passed. Praise God. Uh, Satan has already entered into Judas Iscariot, praise God. Whatever he's about to do, he's going to do. Praise God. But we should still be rejoicing and reacting just like everything is still great. Praise God. What that sounds like is, Amen. We rejoice in our worship. Praise God. And tomorrow we're going to have an accident. We don't know we're going to have an accident. Because it is an accident. <laughs> Praise God. But our rejoicing today ought to prepare us for tomorrow, praise God, even though it's not appealing. Amen. I would not schedule, you know, hey, choir, y'all bless me. Praise God. And I've scheduled an accident for two tomorrow. My car is going to be wrecked and I'm going to break a leg. It's an accident. I don't expect it. Praise God. But my spirit ought not to change because it happens. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Jesus switched the whole mindset of the meal. Praise God. The meal was prepared. The place was selected in advance. Go tell the master that I have need of his place. Because me and my boys, we're going to get together and celebrate in your place. Praise God. And in that place, the Lord chose to lay out some life issues. Praise God. One of them was, let me teach you because I've got to go. The spirit of humility. Even though you could do it a different way. Learn this because it will bless you. Praise God. And Peter, who is always talking because he knows it all, all the time. Praise God. Doesn't even give the other fellas a chance to talk. Amen. He always starts out. I got the answer. <laughs> You can't wash my feet. 
praise God. And Jesus says to him, if I can't wash your feet, I can't have any dealings with you. The humility part is just as important as the power part. <laughs> yeah. Glory to God. Now, we love to push the power. Praise God, but the humility, not so much. Praise God. When Peter finds out, I really need the humility part. Hey, Lord, look, not just my feet. Give me a bath. <laughs> I need all the washing I can get. No, <laughs> you can get the lesson with the feet. Praise God. One is the least appealing. Two, praise God, it has always been associated with somebody who is of low degree. But I, who am your master? If I can humble myself, uh, God, you ought to learn how to really be like me. Praise God. We want the blessings of God, but we don't always want to be like him. Oh, if I could teach him. Lord, help us. Praise God. We come to worship and almost feel put upon. Praise God. We got to come to worship like it's a bad thing. Praise God. And don't come up with two or three. Praise God. You, you, you ought to be happy we giving you this one. But the writer said, I was glad. Yeah. When they said unto me, it's open again. Come on, let's go. Praise God. We ought to feel that we need a renewal every day. Praise God. And every time we can get a renewal, we ought to rejoice. Praise God. Because we've had to deal with hell. Oh. Uh, Glory to God. Amen. And we don't always want to appreciate that we had to deal with hell. Praise God. And hell for each one of us is different. Praise God. And uh, some parts of hell that you are dealing with, I don't see no problem. I can handle that. That ain't nothing. Praise God. But some parts of hell, they're just overwhelming. So don't knock me because you don't understand my hell. Understand that God is helping me through it. And all I need from you is to joy, rejoice with me as I attempt to rejoice. Glory to God. Amen. And I'll rejoice with you as you attempt to rejoice. And we can help each other to get through this hell. Praise God. Amen. Uh, this is a, a time where we not only celebrate what we Praise God should study Jesus' passion. What he went through to give us salvation. Praise God. It was not just they nailed him to the cross. He shed some blood and he died. Praise God. But there was some sacrifice that he didn't have to go through. Praise God. 
One, because he was a king from eternity. Praise God. And if you know anything about kings, they are special. Praise God. You don't come in their presence without an invitation. Praise God. Amen. Uh, true kings have to, amen, uh, point the scepter in your direction. And if they don't, you die. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. So he was a king from eternity. Praise God. And took on flesh just to, praise God, walk among us. Praise God. Without that, we wouldn't have wanted to be around him. How you know? Because when he just thundered on the mountaintop, <laughs> we said, look, talk to Moses. Let Moses talk to us. Praise God. We don't want to hear your voice because it's too terrible. Praise God. But he put on flesh so that he could speak to us. Praise God. And let us speak to him. <laughs> Glory to God. And those who were ruling didn't like that. Praise God. Because when you are a king. Praise God. Your words are always important. Whatever you say. Glory to God. My lady and I, and I'll try to wrap this as quick as I can. We were watching a movie together. Praise God. And there was a young kid who was a king. Praise God, he was a prince and uh, his father died. Praise God, but he didn't understand that his life was in danger because he was a prince now to be king. Praise God, so he did what he always did. Praise God, he didn't ask anybody, can I have? A peach? Praise God. If it was a peach on the table and he wanted it, he took it. Praise God. Because none could stay his hand or even question, what are you doing? Because he was learning, this is who I am. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Well, his father died. And his troops were not around him. He had one protector. Praise God. And he was not in his royal apparel. But he saw something that he wanted. <laughs> and he took it. And they didn't know who he was. And they started yelling. Praise God. He stole my whatever it was. I'm going to call it a peach. <laughs> Glory to God. He was looking at them like they were crazy. Praise God. Why are you even talking to me? Because in his head, do you know who I am? <laughs> Glory to God. Not that he knew he was a king, but he knew I can do what I want when I want. Because I always have. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. The Lord wants to teach us how to be like him. But we have so many problems that we don't know how to be like him. We don't know how to speak and expect it to happen. We don't know how to walk like wherever we walk, we ought to walk. Praise God. Whatever we do, we ought to do. Because we are who we are. 
Oh, uh, y'all ain't hearing me. Praise God. Because we have learned that we ain't all of that. And he came to remind us, yes, you are. Glory to God. You're my child. Glory to God. And whatever it is that you want, you can have it. What I want to do is teach you to want things that will bless you. Glory to God. Don't just want things for the fun of wanting things, but want things that will bless you. And learn what will hurt you. Praise God. We are, amen, so uh, traumatized. Praise God that we actually seem to choose things that will hurt us. And get angry when we are corrected. Praise God because we don't understand the love of God and who he is. Has made us. Glory to God. And I'm, I'm learning that even when I don't know who is protecting me. Glory to God. God has always put a protector to protect me. Uh, that's the God that I serve. Glory to God. And um, his protector fought off I don't know how many folk. Praise God. Um, uh, last thing, and then I'll try to finish this lesson. Praise God. When he wasn't sure he could fight off protectors, he hid. Praise God. And he hid under the floor. Amen. And he was about to get away with being hid. Praise God. But the enemy saw a look on somebody's face that said, he's still here. <laughs> I don't know where, but he's still here. Praise God, because the enemy is always looking. Praise God to find your weakness. Praise God. And so he determined he's nowhere that I can see him. So he's got to be under the floor. Mm. Praise God. So he started stabbing through slots mm. in the floor. Y'all ain't hearing me. Glory to God. Kid doesn't know what's going on. All he knows is I'm under the floor. And this guy who is protecting me is on me. Praise God. And stabbing and talking. Because that's what the devil does. He's always at ease trying to get us. Praise God. Because he believes that he can get us. Because he believes that we are not together. Glory to God. That we will betray a man ourselves. Praise God. Especially when pain comes. Praise God. Stabbing under the floor. And talking, praise God. And uh, uh, his protector, praise God, kept his mouth as closed as he could until he was stabbed. Praise God. And it wasn't a loud sound, but it was a sound enough, praise God, to say, you in the right spot. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Praise God. Enemy took the king. Took his protector because he wanted to abuse him so folk could see. Praise God. And that's one of the things that I'm glad about the devil. Praise God. Uh, Sharika, and I said I was going to stop, but uh, she used to make me watch The Lion King with her. <laughs> Praise God. And amen. The lesson that I learned there is it is always a detriment to the enemy that he tries, praise God, to abuse so that people can see. Praise God. Uh, they had Simba trapped and could have killed him. Praise God. But they stopped to laugh and make fun of him. <laughs> Praise God. That little yelp that you sent out, that was so funny. 
do it again. <laughs> do it so we can laugh some more before we kill you. Praise God. But that gave his father an opportunity to get to him before he was cut off. Praise God. And all of the time that the devil takes you through, all of that stretch out that he does, gives your father a time to get to you before you cut off, before you're destroyed. Glory to God. And I come to tell you, praise God, I don't understand half of what Jesus is doing. But I'm so grateful that he's doing what he's doing. Praise God. I don't have to understand it. Praise God. I just appreciate it because I'm still here. Praise God. Seemed like when the devil tried to destroy me. Praise God. I'm still here. Uh, I'm still in the land of the living. When the doctor said, Praise God. I, I didn't think that was going to work. Pray, I'm still a. <laughs> Glory to God. Praise God. When our finances were such, praise God, that we didn't know what we were going to do, we are still here. <laughs> Glory to God. Because God knows what he's doing. Even when we don't. Praise God. And all he needs for us to do is trust him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And all that foolishness that they went through gave the rest of his squad. Praise God. An opportunity to catch up to the king. Caught up to him. Praise God. Gave him to one. Get him back to the palace. What y'all going to do? We going to fight the enemy. Glory to God. And we don't always appreciate, amen, some of the same folk that we get angry with and talk about are folk that are on the wall to fight the enemy for you. Oh, Y'all ain't going to help me. Glory to God. Praise God. Because we are helpers one to another. Praise God. And we need to believe that what the Lord have set up is really real. Glory to God. He said, and I must try to close now, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. Ah, glory to God. That is profound. Praise God. That God is going to tabernacle with his people. Glory to God. That should be a mind blow. Praise God. But the thing that gets me is this line. He said, and the gates of hell. They shall not prevail. In other words, I don't care what the devil does. He can't win. Ah, glory to God. And here we are, the saints of God, struggling like we think he is. Which means we don't believe the God that we serve. Because if we believed him, we would know can't prevail. Uh, whatever I'm dealing with, he can't prevail. Glory to God. Whatever I'm going through, he can't prevail. Oh. Hallelujah. I know, I know. Sometimes our family will take us completely through, but he can't prevail. Glory to God. That ought to give us chills running up and down our spine. It ought to bless you to the point that any time it even looks like, you ought to be able to get a praise on. Glory to God. Praise God. What is Jesus doing? I don't know. Glory to God. I wish I did, but I don't. Sometimes he steps right in. Other time he waits. Glory to God. Sometimes I can see the breakthrough. Other times it happens, but I don't know when. <laughs> Glory to God. All I know is, wow, that changed. Glory to God. Amen. I was about to completely lose. Just turn the page. And I got the victory. 
Nah, I don't have none of the details, so don't ask me how he worked it out. All I know is that's what I'm talking about. Glory to God. We need to learn, praise God, that everything he told us is real. Praise God. All the things that he explained to us are true. Glory to God. Everything he said he was going to do and his whole prayer, praise God, was, Father, I kept every one of these that you gave me. And I didn't lose any of them. Glory to God. The only one that was lost was the devil that I chose. Glory to God because he was a man, the devil, when I Y'all ain't hearing me. Glory to God. Amen. I know the enemy tries to tell us, praise God, that we have to get ourselves together and, amen, make ourselves a certain way to be able to come to the Lord, but he's a liar. Glory to God. The, the Lord wants, praise God, to choose and bless us just as we are. Glory to God. But he's not going to leave you like you are. Praise God. He's going to change your thinking and change your way of life and change, praise God, the things that you desire. And I come to tell you, glory to God, you might not like the change. Glory to God. But once he works on you, everything that he does is going to bless you. Glory to God. And because, amen, everything that he does will bless you everything that you do ought to say thank you Amen. glory to God we ought to be willing to bless the Lord at all times I know we say it glory to God but we don't always want to do it praise God we lose somebody in our family and our conversation to God is why Praise God, as though God made a mistake. And y'all ain't hearing me. Glory to God. Something crashes on our job or we lose our job or our money gets all messed up. It's why instead of thank you. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. Glory to God. But 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 that thing hurts so bad. Yes, it hurt. Praise God. But God is preparing you for the next thing. Glory. He's not gonna leave you in that situation how you know he said because weeping it may endure for the night hallelujah but there is a joy that's coming in the morning glory to God and I just wish to God that I could hold out with the praise until the morning because if I hold out with the praise I won't feel guilty when the Lord starts blessing me and when the Lord starts opening doors and making ways I I will feel like I was faithful. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. See, faithfulness, glory to God, is not that you are here now. It's how you have been to get here. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. Come on, just lift your voice and tell him thank you. Thank you because I didn't understand, but you were still good. I thank you because, amen, I threw a fit, but you were still good. I thank you because you brought me out when I didn't see my way out. Praise God, and you are still good. Praise God, and so I don't have to wonder whether I can thank you or not. But every time I think about about how good you have been even when I'm in the midst of a struggle I gotta praise and I need to get it out I need to lift my voice I need to lift my hands I need to tell the world the God that I serve he did it again y'all ain't gonna help me just tell your neighbor say neighbor he did it again 
what are you doing Jesus I'm making a way I'm opening a door I'm bringing you out I'm letting your enemy come in so I can trap him and cause that the devil that you see today you see them again no more forever oh y'all ain't hearing me we need to trust that whatever God is doing it's a good thing tell your neighbor he's working in my life and it's a good thing y'all ain't saying it like you really mean it he's opening doors for me and it's a good thing I'm in the middle of a trap and I'm hurting but it's a good thing y'all ain't saying it come on throw those hands in the air open up your mouth and say it's a good thing Yes, it's a good thing. It's a good day to serve the Lord. It's a good day to give him my life. It's a good day to walk away from hell. It's a good day. I don't know why. I don't know what. Lord, what are you doing? Because I don't understand it. But thank you. Because it's a good thing. Stand to your feet. Lift your voice. Open your mouth. And just give him a prayer. Hallelujah. It's a good thing when I can hear me because it's coming out of my mouth. It's a good thing when I can see. Hey, God. It's a good thing when I can speak. It's a good thing when I can walk. It's a good thing when I can cry. It's a good thing. I don't always understand it, but it's a good thing. Wherever God has me and wherever I am, I just want to bless him. I just want to praise him. I just want to give him glory because he's been so good. Your heads are back. Your eyes are closed. At this time that we celebrate the passion of Christ, the price that he paid, praise God. Uh, James Lowe, y'all don't know him, he, he sang back in the day. He said, I've never been spat upon, ridiculed. Wounded in my side. He said, life is no bed of roses. But this I can't deny. I've got a long way to go. To be like the Lord. Glory to God. We seem to spend most of our time thinking that we are not only like him, but we deserve all the stuff we got. Praise God. When what we need to do is understand. <laughs> Praise God. He chose you. Because he loved you. <laughs> it's just that simple. He said, Jacob, I loved. <laughs> I'm still in the scripture. Esau, I hate it. Praise God. What's the difference? <laughs> the difference is, no matter how crazy Jacob was, 
He got blessings. Esau was cut out of all of his blessings. Praise God. And even though he hated them, he still made a way for them. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Glory to God. Yeah, I hear you, girl. Go on. Give him some praise. Glory to God. Amen. Because he is that good. Glory to God. Too many of us, amen, think we deserve a blessing. That we deserve to walk in the miracle. Praise God. When in fact, you only have it because he loves you. Your head's about. Your eyes are closed. And I'm still asking him, Jesus, what are you doing? Praise God, because I want, I want to, I want to be right in the center of whatever blessings he's working. Praise God. And I want to find my place in his presence. Because in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. And at his right hand are real pleasures. Praise God. Not these false, shiny things that can lead us in the wrong direction. Lord, I want to be right. I want your will for my life. Father, we bless you. We praise you. We surrender ourselves to you. Our wrong thinking, our arrogant spirit, we cast them down at your feet and ask you, please, be merciful unto us that we might give you the glory, the honor, and the praise of being considered your child. And if there's anything that's not like you, take it out. Because I want to be right. I want to be saved. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I want to be whole. In Jesus' name. Lord, prepare.